Hi guys, Cigar Jockey back, and I'm going to label this episode The Aging Room. I figure um, I have some cigars that have aged. I've been smoking cigars now probably for about 20 years. And along the way, every now and then, I'll, I'll, I wouldn't say forget about them, but you know, you collect so many cigars and some of them just get put to the side. With that being the case, I have a cigar in my hand right now that is actually older than YouTube. It's older than Facebook. <laughs> Mostly older than the web itself at, at some points. This is the La, Glo uh, La Gloria Cubana. I believe this is called the Sobrasso? Something to that effect. It is 8 inches long by a 52 ring gauge. I purchased this in 1995. So that would make this 18 years sitting in my humidor. Now... This is, it's hard to see, but you'll see the picture. This is the cellophane that it was in. It's really yellowed now. It's, it's crispy stuff. It's crispified. Now, as you can see the, from the age, the band is really sliding here. Uh, not much plume. Of, being that this has been in the cellophane for the 18 years, my question is aging with cellophane. Being that this is sitting for 18 years with the cellophane on, does that really kind of inhibit the aging with 18 years actually be say nine I really don't know so as you can see really nice looking blasted by the sun back there it's coming right off the scooter a nice uh, Maduro wrapper going on right here uh, a little bit of plume going on um, it's really a nice dense dark deep brown uh, Construction-wise, not bad, not bad. A little soft here and there. I've got some soft spots actually going on on this right now. Wow. Uh, excuse me a second. I'm actually going to cut that down right there. There we go. Okay. I'm cutting it down, and I'm not cutting this out of the video just because I'm too lazy. So, as you can see, you get a nice Maduro wrapper going on right here. Really not getting much off of this for all the age that it's been in, in the humidor. Maybe a, a little bit of cedar, but that's about it. Very light, like, tea scents coming off of the foot. Um, my understanding is this is a Connecticut broadleaf wrapper, a Nicaraguan binder, and a Dominican Nicaraguan filler. Now, this was an E.P. Carrillo cigar. He blended this, created this La Gloria Cubano. So this was way before he came out with his own line, the E.P. Carrillo line. So let's give it a try and see what happened. Oh, geez. Um, I bought this in Carmel, California back in 95, kind of like in the height of the boom era. And I think I paid like $12 a stick for this. A little bit tight on the draw. I'm actually getting almost cedar milk chocolate going on. So let's give it a try. Um, some deep, dense wood going on. Not bad right now. Probably need another match to really get it going. Natural sweetness. Deep earth going on. Very rich, very dense. For uh, 18 years, not bad so far. What I'm going to do is I'm going to let the uh, La Gloria Cubano... I believe it's called a Sobrasso. Open up a little bit more, and I'll be right back. I'm back, and I'm working on the 18-year-old La Gloria Cubana. Wow. <laughs> it's pretty damn good. I can't do that again. I only had one. I'm getting this nice base of sweet woodiness with...
cedar, and citrus peel, and a combination of like dusty cocoa, and almost like a burnt vanilla, and it finishes with this natural sweetness. Um, all in all, really good. It's it's lying right between a, a medium bodied, and that's where I figured it would be with all this age sitting on it. Uh, let me try a retro hand and see what it does. Silky smooth, and brings a little bit more wood characteristics to the uh, finish. Uh, burn is fantastic, if you can see right here. It's going great. Draw is wonderful. I'll be back in a little bit. The question you might ask is, what does an 18-year-old ash look like? Something like that. Just a perfect burn going all the way through. It's just wonderful. I don't know, I don't think the ash is going to hold up much longer, but it's got great structure going on for, you know, the time period that it is. I think I'm going to drop it soon. Silky smooth, dusty cedar, still with that uh, citrusy notes going on. Uh, um, nice background of natural sweetness hitting at the afterwards. And a really good, like, pungent cedar that comes through on the retro hail. All in all, so far, it's just fantastic. I'll be back in a little bit. And I'm just looking at the ash, and you really can't tell on an iPad camera, I'm sorry. But the uh, tooth of the wrapper really pops through on the ash. As I'm watching the ash structure, you can see the little divots of a tooth from the wrapper really shining through. It's really sharp to look at. Rich, dense. It's got a nice natural cocoa going on. The finish is a little bit short, but I'm expecting that for the age that this is. All in all, it's just really nice. So I'm gonna continue on to the uh, middle part of it and uh, see how we do. Back. And at about the halfway point now of this La Gloria Cubana, I believe Sobrasso, I believe is the pronunciation. If it's wrong, I'm sorry. Um, as you can see, this is one of the nicest, even burning cigars I've ever had the pleasure of smoking. Um, I don't think I have any more that are 18 years old, maybe a little bit older than that, so we'll have to see. I mean, it's just fantastic. Look at that burn on that thing to ash. Rich, chewy, coats the palate with a natural sweetness, has a nice woody aspect, some a little bit of dusty cocoa. Still getting that citrus peel zest. Um, finishes still with that natural sweetness, uh, short finish on it, but it's just fantastic. Uh, every now and then I've gotten a tinge of some white pepper notes also going on in that. So there's a little bit of spice that's left over from the aging. So I'm going to continue on now with this La Gloria Cubano, 18 years old, and I'll be back in a little bit. And I wanted to touch up more on this uh, La Gloria Cubano that's 18 years old. This video is probably going to be longer than my other ones, me blabbing on a little bit, but I wanted to touch on the characteristics of what's going on on this cigar, being that it has such age on it. It coats the palate with this nice, bright citrus notes and a combination of almost like sweet coffee and through the retro hail I'm really getting some of those almost like bright also uh, white pepper also it kind of changes as it goes through the length of this stick and um, the nuances the characteristics are a little bit not say hidden but I wouldn't have wanted to add this to like coffee or, or something else that would mask it. I'm really using just bottled water to be able to get all the attributes of this cigar. And it's fantastic. Wow, this is what a vintage cigar is like. It's phenomenal.
I'll be back. Moving right along on this 18-year-old La Gloria Cubana, you're probably tired of me saying 18-year-old. And I probably won't say it anymore. Sorry about it. I, I won't say it anymore. Wow. It's really picked up some spicy notes right now. This nice interplay of a white pepper spice. And it's really got a concentrated cedar aspect going on right now. So I'm assuming the aging, you know, in the cedar box, even though it had the cellophane on, there must have been some interplay. I know cellophane is air, you know, the air comes in and out of it. So the cedar must have breathed in and out because I'm getting a really nice concentrated cedar notes. Nice and it's finishing nice and spicy right now. It's surprising with some sweet cedar. Still with that bright citrus note. It's really uh, surprising. So again, I'll be back. Getting down to the final third now. And it's become more concentrated now as it's gotten to the end. Concentrated cedar, coffee, a little bit of nutty. It's still got a nice spicy finish, which is surprising for the age of this. All in all, as I've said many times, it's a phenomenal cigar. Burn is still just wonderful. So I'm just going to kick back and enjoy the next, probably, you know, like 15 minutes of this cigar and say thanks for watching this extended version because I believe it is going to be a little bit longer than my other ones. And I'll see you guys again soon.